having a special show today, aren't we? Absolutely. Welcome to If These Walls Could Talk with your hosts. Wendy Stewart. And Tim Moss. Yay. Yay. Can I tell everybody I'm broadcasting today from Milford, Pennsylvania, where right? we're having an incoming storm. Oh, my God. It's like I could be snowed in, snowbound. And I'm in Washington Heights in Upper Manhattan awaiting the same storm. So it should be arriving any minute now. I know what you're really waiting for, Tim. Tim, you cannot wait to go out there and make those snow angels. Exactly. And my little snow snow dance videos. That's, so that's right. what I... I love the snow dance videos, but I like the snow angels where you're like spread eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to even think in the, even, <laughs> even in the snow, I'm spread eagle. Even in the spread eagle. <laughs> oh my God, that would be like such a good name for uh, an article, spread eagle in the snow. <laughs> yes. Well, this is a very, very special um, if these walls could talk. That's why she's up in, in Pennsylvania and I'm here in New York. But we had a special oppor an opportunity. Now, we yes. were nominated for a, a glam award for best Yay. podcast. Yay. And thank you to and everybody that voted for us. Yes. I really appreciate yes. It. And our good friends, Ari Kiki and Vicky Villaness uh, were also nominated in the same category for their podcast shade parade. And so Vicky hit me up and was like, why don't we just cross promote? Yeah. And I said, I love that idea. Right. So without further ado, please welcome our, the fabulous one and only Vicky Villaness. Yay! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you, baby girl? I'm really good. I yeah. was listening in and I can't imagine what snow angels in the snow in New York City look like right now. <laughs> <laughs> They look like angels anywhere else. You know, they have like the, the white little halo and beautiful wings. And of course, they're wearing a tasteful gown embroidered with sequins. <laughs> oh, okay. Does, does it account for all of the um, uh, the subway snow? That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call that tainted snow, Vicky. <laughs> subway snow. Vicky, where are you? I don't yeah, even where know. Where are you where at? So I'm right now in Boston. I've been oh, in Boston okay. for a couple of months now. It's only temporary. I will be back in the in the Apple um, uh -huh. in the in the new year. But um, yeah. yeah, just based out of Boston right now. I'm trying some new things, filming something secret. Ooh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Yeah, because you, uh, honey, you get around. Because I think Thank you're you. On <laughs> that's what you I heard on... about you. I didn't know all that much about you except that you got around. Yes, because all when, the rumors are true. Uh, when, <laughs> when, when, when we, w you were one of our guests on uh, with Ike Avelli and me on Loose Lips. That's and right. You were in Maryland at the time. I was. Yeah, so <laughs> like all up and down the East Coast. So, boys, look for this one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> COVID has given me a nice um, transitional period, I like to call it. Um, we transitioned from one house to another house. <laughs> oh, that kind of transition. Yeah, right. That okay. kind of, I like that you look at it that, that way. That's like very positive because before you jumped on, we were bitching about the amount of cancellations for things in yeah. New York. And, you know, this boggles my mind because I was in Stonewall on Friday night and it was packed to the rafters. OK, and there was a drag show. So I don't understand the parallel universe of cancellation versus let's have a drag show. Nick, Vicky, can you explain that to me, please? I think, <laughs> well, in my professional opinion, <laughs> well, I know, I don't know. I think, I think a lot of these cancellations are for like maybe bigger venues and, and like people don't want to be like liable for certain things. Like uh, yeah. I don't want to go to a Kim Petras concert and be like, <laughs> oh no, yeah. I'm sick. <laughs> but like, I'll definitely show up at a Vicky Villanueva lip sync performance. And like, yeah. I kind of expect to get sick. So like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, you know, show up, double vaxxed, get your booster. And if not, catch a little COVID. It never hurt anybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe a few. Yeah, <laughs> just, 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 just a few. Catch just, a little COVID. Just a, just a small, you know, just a few hundred thousand. That's all. 
Yeah. Oh but I, yeah, all of my performances for January were canceled, except for really? one, which was a drag show at, <laughs> at the Ritz. <laughs> Yeah, well, Tim, you and you, Ike, and I were supposed to do this uh, this guest host thing, or not guest host, guest judge thing at a, right. a pageant that was happening this past January, and uh -huh. the the first like date got canceled. It was fine, you know. We were we were all ready to yeah. you know travel from Boston to uh, put on a dress or two. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a costume change um scheduled or anything like that <laughs> not like i had anything up my sleeve <laughs> i wouldn't want I to take swear. <laughs> um it was supposed to be at the queue yeah at the queue uh-huh yeah but i wouldn't want to take attention off of any of the actual competitors it's not like i'm a <laughs> attention hog or anything <laughs> <laughs> but that was the liberty that would be the liberty bells pageant yes the liberty liber lady liberty, lady liberty. Yeah, yeah 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 because we, were, they, we scheduled it when they rescheduled it, Vicky wasn't available to come that day. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I'm so I heard sorry you guys... weren't available for that. It was really fun. I went mm -hmm. because the boys were there. Yeah. And it was great. Who was the girl that won, Tim? She was so good. Oh, my God. Uh, she really, really was. Oh, my God. I oh my god, her name slips me right now. Um, I mean, she had it all was, going on. She yeah, really there was there was no question, no question yeah. whatsoever. No, she's a shining star. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's up and comer. Love that. See her on <laughs> yeah, next season. Drag Race. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, love that. <laughs> well, now, Vicky, you and I, we have done. So many shows together. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Facebook likes to remind me every couple of months. Right. That, Do you remember where you were four years ago on this day? Right. <laughs> you guys were together in Rochester or in yeah. Baltimore or it's over here or something. Nikki, I first <laughs> so. saw you in Icavelli's show um, on Zoom. And it wasn't really? the one where you did the 12 days of Christmas. Ah! So we did before, which was, you killed me. That was, excuse me, so fucking brilliant because every queen does the 12 days of Christmas. You did the whole drunk thing on that. <laughs> it was a really brilliant, so over the top performance and it still stays in my mind. And well, when I've... I love that. I love that I can leave memories and have things that linger with people. I mean, I usually have something that lingers with people, but they have to <laughs> for it. <laughs> but how long have you been? I don't I saw you in one show before that, but um, you know, I'm very much based in New York. I know all the queens in New York. Well now, now you know I'm Ari. Like, met so you... many people though because of the pandemic online, but um how long have you been doing drag for that? I wanted to ask you that. So I've been doing drag for maybe eight or nine years. I started in college. Wow. And um, I, it's gotten a little less frequent as I've like gotten into my career and like tried to like make both things happen because I love drag. Like it's, it's honestly <laughs> doing drag. I've made almost as much money as I have being a fashion designer. So wow. <laughs> like, That's cool. that like I, I've been doing like, I started out, you know, doing the local bars and things in New York. Mm -hmm. um, I know every single girl in New York sure. and every single girl who's been on Drag Race from New York. Like, I could scroll through my phone and show you all of them. And like, we're yeah. going to make you do that later. So hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold me to it. And if any of you girls get texts from numbers you don't recognize, it wasn't me. <laughs> Now, how many years did you say you've been doing drag? Eight, Eight years. Eight. Okay. Yeah. So that's About going back eight. to like um, Bianca Del Rio. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. yeah from that yeah. time forward. Yeah. So I really, Vicky, you must have been like ten. I was. Right? I was. I was actually 0.5 years old. So he was a fetus. Mm, I wasn't even five months. You know, a it's, fetus in a dress. I was an, a savant. They like to call it. Mm. I love that. <laughs> A, a, sav a savant. Um, I could I have walk to tell you that you you are really, and I, I'm not telling you this because you're here on the show, but I could watch you perform again and again. And I have not mm -hmm. gotten to see you live in New York. I missed anything that you did here. I don't know. I guess I was like supporting some other queens, but you are incredibly gifted because I believe, okay, everybody is doing drag now. And you know what? There's become mm -hmm. this standard. It's fine. 
I support these girls, but you know what? There's not a lot of people out there that I think are gifted and you really are. Yeah, Thank you. I agree. Thank you, Wendy. You know, at the, I really I, you, you're just interesting to watch. It's like, oh, she cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm crazy crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and because the thing is, it's like right now we're talking to Ronnie, you know, out of drag. Yeah. And all that really nice, sweet, kind, <laughs> innocent Ronnie, you know, and Man, that wig goes on and the villainous fucking oh, yeah. comes out. It's a no full transformation. <laughs> yeah, it's a full it's transformation. A trans it's a total <laughs> transformation. Yeah, a flip switches. And yes, like, absolutely. It's, like, I can kind of get in character when I'm not fully in, like, the whole fantasy, but it really takes, like, the lashes and the nails especially. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The nails. Yeah. This, <laughs> this really turns on the whole attitude for me. <laughs> I love and that. And then, like, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I just have to mention one show that we did, which was in Rochester. We were doing Rochester Fringe. The and Fringe I come, I it's uh, Fifty Shades of Gay. So Ike comes out, and then I come out and do, like, 10 minutes while Ike is back changing. Then he comes back out. Then he introduces Vicky. And Vicky comes out and performs for 10 minutes and so on. We all each take a little bit of time. Well, I'm out performing, and... I come walking backstage and I told Vicky, I said, oh my God, I said, there's like this, this, this conservative older couple mm -hmm. sitting right in the front row, this old man and old woman that just aren't smiling. They're not doing anything. I said, you probably should just leave them alone. <laughs> she comes out and starts doing Wendy Ho, which is like one of the most vulgar, vulgar. pieces. Holy. I look out. Who does she go directly to? She's playing the whole time to this old man. She's got her leg up and like her pussy <laughs> in his it. face. And <laughs> she went right for him. <laughs> good, good for you, girl. So what did, what did the guy do? What did he do? I'm on pins and needles. Oh, they left, didn't they? Yeah, they. I mean, I think he, he politely waited until I was done. But he good definitely... Delighted. Yeah, he and his wife definitely packed their things and left. Because after that, I got on the mic and yes. I started telling the most raunchy dick jokes that I absolutely could think of. And I'm backstage just going, oh my oh, God. Must have been dying, no, she's right? not. no, she's not. I mean, they'd already paid for the tickets. What were they going to do? <laughs> You know what, Vicky? You keep them their money's worth. They were coming right. to a show called Fifty Shades of Gay. What were they expecting? And you gave them their money's worth and you made an impression. That's the point. It wasn't Fifty Shades of Puritans, honey. Like you came <laughs> to see three homosexuals just fag it up on stage for like an hour. So like, that's what you're going to get. And then like you wait for the grand dame to arrive. She gives you all the sequins and the Swarovskis that she can. And like, don't be offended. Give me a dollar. Like, and if you are offended, give me a 20. Maybe I'll stop. <laughs> you know what? That is a really smart thing to do. And maybe you should have said that. That's a really smart <laughs> stop, bitch. Hey, um... yeah. <laughs> you don't like what I'm saying? That'll It'll be another $5. <laughs> It'll totally cost you. Oh my God. Now you do Shade Parade with our, fr our dear friend, Ari Kiki. Love Ari Kiki. I love, no. I love Ari Kiki too, but I have to tell you something. I have a show called Pandemic Cooking with Wendy, 151 episodes. And when I first started it, I was sending it to everybody. There were a few people, Michael Musto and Ari Kiki was one of them that said to me, please don't clog up my box with this. Oh, don't tag them. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah, that, right. Well, the, basically, right. Please don't tag me. I can't be tagged on so many things. So... So I I was thinking, oh my God, Ari Kiki maybe doesn't like me. I don't know. You'll have to oh, ask. I mean, you should ask her. I don't think she doesn't like you. She uh, is a diva sometimes. She can be a bit of a bitch. <laughs> That's just what I hear. I don't know. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you and to us. We yeah. have, both of our shows have been nominated for a Glam Award. Yay! That's Yay! so exciting. Thank you, Cherry Jubilee, too. Yes. Yes. yes, thank you so much, Cherry. Yeah, so we wanted to just kind of promote the Glam Awards and promote each other's shows. So tell us about Shade Parade. Tell yes. us all about it. 
Well, the Shade Parade, we like to say that it is a weekly round table conversation with queens of color. But girl, it's just me and Ari Kiki and whoever we bring on, <laughs> cutting up, talking shit, being rude, nasty bitches to each other mostly. But then we have a segment that we call Flaming Topics. So we pick the headlines from the news, the most salacious headlines from the news that week. We don't read the articles. Uh -huh. Sometimes we read the articles on the air, so we're finding out information as we're oh, forming our it. opinions. But, like, the opinions are happening. Like, the tagline huh. of the show is, Welcome to the Shade Parade, where we have all of the opinions and none of the facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I totally, I totally love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to listen to two bitter old queens, just get up and just be fucking rotted to each other and then <laughs> rake pop culture over the coals we're we your love girls <laughs> yes i love it okay I, that is such a fabulous premise for a show you know because you know what it's really entertaining mm -hmm. I, I love the fact that you don't even know what the article's gonna say or like yeah, no. okay, we're I mean, just gonna go with our feelings it kind of naturally came about just because i was like as drag queens, this is kind of the conversation that we would be having backstage mm -hmm. anyway, or like right. back at our apartments while we're painting our faces. Like on Drag Race, those girls are talking about their like heartbreaking moments of when they first came out and how they were bullied. In our conversation, we're talking about how big Ari's feet are and how that may be impacting her drag career somehow. Like, <laughs> she find shoes. That could be a problem. Oh, she gets them from Sketchers. Oh, <laughs> big comfy things that stretch. I'm so sure. And there, and there is some of that shade. Oh, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> so, if you really just want to take an hour out of your Friday and just listen to us, just talk shit, really, and and laugh. It's it's well, really a Friday roundup or a wrap up of the week, you know. Because one thing, one thing I want to ask you: um, the two of you are so close. You have been such good close friends for many, many for as long as I've known you. Yeah, two. we started our drag careers together. Uh huh. Oh, and wow. and well, that's what I was wondering: was how did the two of you meet? Like Adam for Adam. <laughs> Adam for Adam. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Old timey grinder girl. I was gonna say under what <laughs> under what trick did you meet each yeah, other? Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we um we actually did like meet on a hookup app, but it oh, was yeah? like we met each other in person and it was like Oh, we're instant girlfriends. Yeah. I love what you're wearing. This is cute. Like, this isn't going to happen, but like, let's keep, let's like hang out and see where this goes. Keep the channel That's open. That's even stop. better because you know what? Tricks come and go. But oh, look yeah. At, look at, look at what you have with each other. Even we, better. We have had a longer friendship than we would have had if we'd seen each Absolutely. other naked. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh goodness. Well, so, again, you know, I'm curious. Um, your other side is your fashion designer. Yes. Yeah. Incredible I, fashion design. Wow. Thank you, Tim. I um yeah I went to FIT and I uh, have been kind of like like just chasing my dream of being a designer ever since. Um, I've worked for some like pretty crazy brands like Helmet Lang and um, Theory. And um, recently did like, I'm doing stuff for Shein, Shein. It's this fast Shen. fashion website, Shen, is that how you say it? Yeah. Listen, I signed the contract. As long as they send me my money, I don't care how they Right, it. it's that check at the end of the day. I'm a fit model. Oh yeah? The things that I do, I'm a perfect size eight. Or shall yes. we say, not the size eight girl that you do. I'm a universal size eight. Wait, that's the size of my dress form over here. Oh, wheel her over. Let me welcome, just. Welcome to Foxy. This is Foxy. Exactly. She's wearing a leather jacket piece. This is for the, the glands. We're working on her now. We should probably take Oh, wait. Right. Show, show us. We want it to be a surprise. And yeah. be more. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this. I'm well, going to get in full glam for this. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. I, I have to find. I have to find a wig stylist. I'm going to make my own look. But. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. So you should call, I think it's Frank Bacardi, Tony Homeperm's husband is uh, amazing. Oh. Amazing wig guy. He's like the wig guy. Yeah, I I, I need a, a wig specialist. Right. 
Yeah. The most fierce yeah. wig ever. Yeah, I want something that swoops up, gives me height. <laughs> with maybe a, you want a me to put you in touch in with him there. just after all of this, just reach out and I will hook you up. I would love that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because I don't bullshit. I'm the real deal. Anyway, let's get back to you. Okay, so that is your dress form that's this behind you. And um, did you know you wanted to be in fashion as a kid? I kind of found, or fashion found me at 13. Mm -hmm. I was just some little gayling that went to art school. <laughs> so I've been wow. in, I went to the Baltimore School for the Arts, where I studied theater and theater tech. Of and course. there I was introduced to costume design and ah. through costume design, I found fashion. Like mm -hmm. it's modern day costume design in my head. And uh, from there, I was just kind of set on this, on this track that led me from like from art school to fashion school, to fashion school, to career, to uh, here it's we are happening. today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to, Hawk pieces of t-shirts and skirts for a couple of bucks, girls. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I mean, the, the creative the creative mind of this one, just because um, they would be like, oh, well, here's a, here's a hefty bag, a pitchfork, and a, a phone. And he'll create like this create something like, amazing. lady dies dress or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of my, so I did, I used to perform a couple of nights at this show back in the day called saliva Tuesdays at the Ritz. And I have this like in my mind, legendary performance where I did Lady Gaga's paparazzi dressed in tabloid pages yeah oh, genius oh my god that's so genius but because i and I, I wanted to do like these like high concept really interesting shoulders so uh, the day that i was constructing the dress i learned how to origami like i literally went on youtube learned how to origami step by step and like folded all of these pieces to build this like shoulder piece to then perform that night and rip the entire dress off and leave it on the floor what? Gee, that is like, <laughs> I love you have such a dramatic flair that goes with everything else. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all part of the package. Right. It's the package, not just about what you're wearing, but it's everything, you know? Yeah. You are an entity. I like to think that I'm a lifestyle. Vicky <laughs> <laughs> Villainous, a lifestyle brand. I love it. I, I mean, I feel like I marketed myself as a lifestyle from the beginning. It just took me a while to figure out where I was. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like sheets and towels. Like, yes. a Macy's licensee. Yes. <laughs> I want to be, like, Martha Stewart meets, yes. like, um, Oscar de la Renta or, like, yep. um, Michael Kors. He's, like, clothes are everywhere. Clients. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they have all sold themselves down the river. I could say, wouldn't that be funny? Like your towels next to Martha Stewart. That'd be insane. I've yeah. never seen these towels. My name are my name is on them, but I've never seen them. It's fine. But they all have a touch of what is it, malevolence? What's yes. <laughs> Wait, no, Tim, you're Sorry. onto it, right? Because it's Vicky Villainess. Yeah. It's got to have with a with a touch of malevolence. Yeah. yeah. The purple thread. <laughs> Uh, Evelyn Thread, oh my God. Oh my God. So you're going to be at the Glam Awards then? I absolutely will. Yes. I don't know. And that I... is January 30th uh, at Sony, Sony, Sony Hall. Hall. Sony Hall. Here in New York City. Yeah. And you can get your tickets by going to glamawards.net. So everybody just be sure to do that. And you again, gotta get the VIP ticket so you can be down where all of us are going to be, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys getting a table? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need a table, honey. The shoes that I'm planning on wearing, <laughs> I need to sit. Your shoes are table worthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These they're the kind of shoes that are like, you know, they're really cute. They're especially cute from the Uber to the table and from the table to the right. Yeah. That's, that's how we do that. And on stage <laughs> and off stage. Mm -hmm. right, so they're very high shoes. Very high shoes. Well, I'm a very tiny person, so I need to make, you know. I need to compensate. 
She's compensating. Some guys like that. fast cars. Some girls like real big shoes. Right. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, Vicki, thank you so much. I appreciate your, oh your coming God, on and great. chatting and with us on this special Glam Awards edition of If These yes. Walls Could Talk. Thank you, too, so much for having me on. This has been so much fun. I cannot wait to see you on I know. The I have to give you a big hug. We oh are going God. to mayhem, honey. Mayhem yes. and madness. Mayhem. Absolutely. And girls, I want to see you in person. Yes, I mean, we need. Oh, you've only ever been virtual. I don't even know if you're real. I don't yeah. think I am. <laughs> I don't think I am. I am definitely an algorithm. <laughs> from the metaverse. From the metaverse. <laughs> right? I am an algorithm from the metaverse. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I love you so much and thank you so much. Yay. And all the best. Yay. Love you. Thank you, everybody. Love you and thank bye you, Vicky. Bye bye. Bye bye.